Hi guys, welcome to day 9 of the 12 Days of Christmas videos. Today I'm going to be talking about what sort of rate of progress you should be expecting when you're on a, a fat loss goal. So it's something I think most PTs are a little bit guilty of is we never really properly explain what you should be expecting as a client and therefore you're a bit none the wiser if you're making good or poor progress. So I am going to start off by saying that your progress isn't going to be a week on week, perfectly linear process. There are going to be ups, there's going to be downs, especially when we're chasing fat loss, weight loss. There are many, many variables and it's not always going to be one, two, three pounds a week without fail. So now I'm going to start getting into some numbers for you. So for females over 28% body fat and males over 20% body fat, an appropriate weight loss would be between one and one and a half percent of the total body weight. So if you were a hundred kilos, you'd expect to lose one to one and a half kilos per week, averagely. For females between twenty and twenty seven percent body fat and males between about twelve and nineteen percent body fat, that expected rate of weight loss would be between zero point seven and 1% of your total body weight. Finally now, for those of you who are very, very lean, so females under 20% and males under 10%, that expected rate of weekly weight loss would be between about 0 0.5 and maybe 1% um, of your total body weight lost. So as you can see there, the leaner you are, the slower the expected weekly rate of body fat. Okay, now there's a few variables in it, uh, especially for women. So as I was explaining before, it's not always gonna be you lose, you lose, you lose, you lose week on week. There's so many different factors, um, hydration status, glycogen storage, um, things like that. Now for women, Especially around your menstrual cycle, you are going to expect some weight gain, especially on weeks two and weeks four of your cycle. So don't be alarmed if your weight seems to creep up in those sort of weeks. It's kind of expected. Okay, guys, I hope that's given you some useful information and put you a little bit more in the light as to what you should expect results-wise. But remember, it's not always going to be a perfect weight loss week after week. There are variables, so don't panic if you do creep back up. So tune in tomorrow, guys, for day 10, and I'm going to talk about how to prevent overeating when in quite a severe calorie deficit. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye.